So I guess this all starts back at October 20th when I had this idea. So I whipped out my phone to tell you guys. So I was looking up at my vision board that I made for 2022. And I saw this checklist where I wanted to make 100 videos by January 1st. I'm at 38 right now. And I don't think there's any way I'll get to 100 videos, but kind of had this idea. I would try to get as close as possible. And one way I could do that is by doing one video every day for 30 days. I don't know if I tried to do this once before. I tried to do two or three videos a week and I couldn't do it, but I made a giant list actually of stuff I could make videos about. I don't know. I don't know. I might not do it. I I probably won't do it, but like I kind of want to. So three days later, I decided to actually try to do this. I decided to try to film and edit and get videos up for the next week. But there were some issues. I ran into tech problems. I think I'm going to do it. Well, I thought I was going to do it. I go to my Notion like I always do and I start scripting. I get like a boatload of video ideas. I start planning throwing stuff on the calendar, trying to figure out how I'm gonna do this. And then my notion just erases. <laughs> it was like two or three days worth of ideas, just kinda. <laughs> Luckily, I did write some stuff down on paper, but the only stuff I have is what's on this <laughs> post-it note and what's on these two pages. And I felt like this was a sign, just the first of many more to come, to tell me not to do this 30 day video challenge. So the idea right now is that I want my first video to be posted October 30th. So in one week from now, I'm really trying to figure out how to do this because a lot of my videos aren't super sit down, just chatty videos. Some of them are, but I do a lot of almost vlogging my week or vlogging my life through like months at a time. Like I have a video in progress that has been going for about a year now. I also don't really know how I'm going to be balancing this with school. Yesterday I edited two videos for five hours and I wasn't even finished with them. I'm gonna try. I think that's the thing. I'm just really gonna try to crank out these videos. <laughs> yeah, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop rambling and just get working on stuff. <laughs> it is Tuesday, October 25th. I am stressing out that it's already Tuesday. Yesterday, I really tried to cram and get some stuff done, but my ideas just weren't really working with the day, I guess. It's, it's really hard to explain, but a lot of my videos revolve around me doing things, which makes it really hard for me to bash content because I can't have me doing the same thing in every video. I'm trying to do like eight different videos. I'm not even kidding. So right now I am filming the Halloween vlog, documenting my life, looking put together. So you want to be a YouTuber. I'm editing the Indiana video. I'm filming romanticizing school, this video. I'm in the process of filming slash editing seven videos, but I also need to start filming The Loser's Guide to a Good November, Explore the World. And for next week, I really want to get like the bedroom makeover video done. I don't know if I'll be able to, but like that's gonna involve me like painting and stuff. I might need to give myself another week. I really don't want to do that. I don't know, we're gonna see how this week goes. So I realized it was starting to get really overwhelming for me. And this felt just like another reason, another sign saying, hey, don't do this. <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to push this back another week. It just, it kills me to say that too. I realized it wasn't possible to get the videos up at the planned date. And unfortunately I had to delay it. Right now at the pace I'm at, I would only have five videos to post on Sunday and I don't think I can get two more in. My main thing I'm worried about is posting like a week's worth of videos and then not having enough to like do the actual 30 days. So it's better if I just delay it a week to make sure I can actually do 30 in a row. So I think my plan is to have it start November 7th instead of October 31st. Instead of following my intuition and saying, you know, I feel like these are signs that I should stop, I decided to keep going and just delay it. And I'm really glad I did. 
It is November 2nd. It has no business being like this warm and nice out November 2nd, but I'm not complaining. I'm so glad I waited another week. Yesterday, I got five videos scheduled for upload. Anyway, I'm just kind of scared I'm not going to be able to <laughs> pull this off. My days have been hectic doing this. I keep filling out my to-do list to the max. Trying to do this and balance school has been kind of rough. Luckily, my fall break is coming up. I uh, get off the 18th. Once that hits, I should be okay. I just need to keep it up. Yep, that's kind of where I'm at with this stressed out but i feel productive you know um i kind of thrive off of this kind of stress it's why i'm so good in school <laughs> i guess after two weeks of non-stop grinding non-stop hustle nose to the grindstone it was launch day but i ran into an issue i was not expecting to have so last night i put out a community post saying that like hey tomorrow is the start of the 30-day challenge and after i posted that i knew there was no going back but we have a little bit of an issue. Today I woke up <laughs> with a sore throat and I found out my sister has a fever. So I think I'm probably coming down with a cold or hopefully not COVID, which is not good because a lot of my content revolves around me like going places, doing things, and I don't feel like doing anything. <laughs> Luckily, I have nine videos scheduled. I did that um, Saturday. I scheduled out nine videos and I have, I think, three that I can edit. I have a little bit of a buffer time. If I get sick, I don't know if I can do this. <laughs> This was the biggest sign to me that I should just quit. Today I scripted out gifts for the main character part two. So I am going to go film that before my voice just completely gives out. So hopefully I'll have like another video I can edit. I don't know, I don't wanna push it back. I committed <laughs> and video one goes up in about 10 minutes. So I'm sticking to it. I'm really gonna try to do this, but being sick is one of the worst things that could have happened right now. <laughs> All right, so I just finished filming that and my video went live. At least it should have, so I'm gonna check that right now. It's up, one view, someone's watching. If you're the one watching my YouTube video first, I appreciate you. <laughs> I, I honestly do. I remember when I would post a video and it would take that video sometimes a week to even get a view. Also, I do wanna take a look at my analytics just to see if anything's going to change. 322 subscribers and 596 public watch hours. Ooh, I got a comment. Let's see who it's from. Vanessa Fendi, sorry if I'm saying that wrong, but I appreciate you. Thank you so much for being the first view. So after that first launch day, I had nine videos scheduled to go out, which was great. So videos were going up every day. No one had any idea I was sick, couldn't film videos and was barely editing. And I was able to stay on top of it until day 15. Hello, <laughs> it is November 21st, I think. Um, day 15 of the challenge, I don't have any videos done for after this. So what I mean is that I have one video scheduled to go up today and after today, I don't have anything. I don't have anything finished. I don't have anything close to being finished. I actually don't know if I'll be able to get a video up tomorrow. I might miss a day, which really sucks because I'm halfway done. I would have thought that, you know, by now I would have gotten in the groove of things. Unfortunately, I think getting sick really just took me out because I didn't film anything. I barely edited. I have a lot of videos in the works. Like right now I'm filming a um, winter outfits video. I have that partially edited, but I'm not even done filming it. I'm gonna have to finish that up this morning, I think. I think I'm just gonna have to cut corners with a lot of editing. The thing I've loved about this is that every day I get comments from the same people on my videos. You know who you are if you've been commenting regularly and watching. I appreciate you so much and it's so cool just to kind of recognize that. It just kind of clicked for me this week that people enjoy this. It has kind of given me motivation to keep posting, even if it's just for those six people who comment and tune in my videos often. Like for example, I wanna keep posting for Vanessa. She's like my little cheerleader. I love her. She's been commenting, I think on every single video since the start. I don't know, Vanessa, if you're watching this and I hope you are, thank you. 
just give you a little heart. And there's a lot of people who have been commenting often and I appreciate you guys so much and I recognize when I see your name come up multiple times and I appreciate it. Anyway, I need to make more coffee and then I need to start editing and filming and take a shower and take off my makeup that's been left on from last night because I was so tired and I fell asleep at nine o'clock. Surprisingly, the next 11 days went pretty seamlessly. It's like the first half of the challenge here was really, really hard. After that 15 day half point, the rest was pretty easy and actually kind of fun. <laughs> For the next 11 days, I filmed, edited, scripted, and it all came pretty easily to me. I got a little bit more comfortable on camera. I would just have ideas and say, hey, I'm gonna film it instead of sitting and thinking if I should or shouldn't, which really saved me a lot of time. And over those 11 days, I scheduled up to video 28. And actually today is day 11, which leads me to this clip. So today is December 2nd, I think. And I think today is the last filming and editing I'll be doing. So it's been like very stressful and chaotic so far have been able to upload every single video on time except last weekend. And I was editing, I was going as fast as I could. It was like speed editing. I uploaded, I was like working as fast as possible. I got it up at like 3.18 PM. So not too late, but definitely like wasn't scheduled. I just immediately hit post and like release or publish or whatever it is. I cannot believe I did this. Like there were so many times I was like, I can't do this. I don't have any video ideas. I had finals week. I had COVID. I don't know how I pulled it off. I've also gotten very fast at editing, like very quick. So when I would edit a normal video outside of this challenge, I would do one rough cut. I'd go back and do another rough cut. And then I would go back and add in any like graphics, I don't know, special like montages or anything, anything like uh, artistic stuff. And then I'd go back in and I'd add music and then I'd go back and rewatch just to double check everything's good. And that would be five. I cut that out. I do like two watch throughs max. I do one rough cut. And while I'm doing that, I'm adding in the music and I'm adding in graphics. And then I go through and watch it. If there's nothing really wrong with it, it's done. So I think it's about time to start checking stuff off of the vision board. So I've lost a few pictures through the year. Everything fell off in the summer and I think I just lost some pictures. At the moment, I just scheduled video 66. So that means I can check off 40. I reached 40, I reached 50, and I reached 60. I can't believe I did that. So I'll be at 68 at the end of the challenge. And then if I upload two more during December, that'll get me to 70. Actually, I'm gonna write in 68 here. I'm gonna make a new box. So the whole reason I wanted to get to video 100 this year was to try to reach monetization. And I have not reached that. So monetization, if you don't know, is 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours of watch time. Um, I have not gotten to that. So I did not reach 100 videos this year. I did not complete my New Year's resolution, but honestly, I think that's okay. I'm happy with the work I put in, but the whole reason was one, yes, to get monetization, but also to grow my channel, get better editing skills, be more comfortable on camera, just understanding YouTube more. Because I know when I started this, I had, okay, I started my channel in November, 2021. If I was doing one video a week, I had maybe five videos up before 2022. And now I have 68. That's crazy. I remember the very first video I filmed, it took me days to edit. <laughs> It took me a whole day to film. It should not have taken me a day to film and it should not have taken me days to edit. But I mean, that's just what happens when you do your very first video, I guess. And now I'm able to do 30 videos in 30 days. Like that's insane. Anyway, no new video tomorrow, but I will try to upload a video sometime soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.